Okay, what's up, everybody? I am here to give you all your messages, okay? Let's see what comes out. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Let's see what comes out. Great spirit. What messages do you have for the family, for whoever clicks on to this video? Look at this. Everything is in order. Everything is happening right on time. There's nothing to be worried about. There's nothing for you to fret about, okay? We have six and seven, okay? The six and seven of wands. Don't they look very, um, very uh, similar, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the dreamer. So definitely fire energy that is here, okay? The six of swords wanted to pop out as well. But definitely this Aries energy is here, okay? With this new start, with this new beginning here, okay? Um, you guys are definitely taking the leap of faith, okay? To, to go in the direction of winning, okay? You guys are looking to win in life. You guys want uh, to manifest, to focus on um, calling into your life the experiences you really want to bring in, okay? And it's like Spirit is saying, you are protected while you're doing this. Protect yourself as well. Protect your thoughts. Protect your energy. Protect your, your, your physical space, okay? Wherever you go, know that you are protected, okay? Stand up for yourself. Don't be afraid to, to you know, protect your beliefs. And if you believe something specific, then it's okay. You know, be who you really want to be okay it's like whatever works for you then that's what it is you know it doesn't matter what anyone else has to say about it is the energy i'm picking up on it's like you're very whimsical is the energy i'm picking up very mystique or very mysterious like okay it's like just being you okay it's like be you you guys may have a lot of choices you guys have to make or you guys um, may feel convoluted because you have a lot of choices and maybe you guys are confused about what choice to make again it's your life you choose what you want to create what you want to manifest into your life experience is what all i can tell you you know look at this i'm hearing communication this is gemini energy with this lovers okay so there could be a lover wanting to communicate with you okay you could be communicating with the lover somebody could be trying to figure out how to win in life with you Okay, but yes, definitely stand up for yourself. Stand up for what it is that you desire as well. Um, not meaning you have to go around protecting yourself. Uh, oh, because I have this or I want this. So I got to, you know, let it be known and therefore I need to protect myself. No, it's like you shouldn't, people shouldn't necessarily know all of your wins. You get what I'm saying? It's like, um, even if your losses are public, everyone doesn't need to know how you're winning, you know, let them know that, you know, you went through this and, you know, you had a rough time growing up or, you know, you went through a bad marriage or whatever the case may be. Let people talk negative, say what they want to say, whatever. But at the end of the day, you're still winning. But what I'm saying is if it gets to a point where you need to really step out and say something, then say something. But you're a very classy person. It's like you're not even thinking about or worried about what anybody has to say about you or what they think they know about you because they are not you. They're not looking out of your own eyes. They're not in your body. They're not in your head. So fuck those people anyways. But stand up for yourself if you need to is what I'm saying. But you're not even entertaining that type of energy. Okay, but you know, some people, they, they may still try you. So don't be afraid to stand up and it's not considered getting out of character. You're, you're telling people what they need to know. You're, 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 you're speaking up for yourself and for your beliefs, but there could be, you know, 20 people sitting in the same restaurant at the same bar that you're at. Let's just say you're at a, you know, nice place and I don't know, something comes on the news and they start talking about something that you believe in and everybody is going against it. It's okay for you to be the cool one at the end of the bar that raises your sunglasses up or down or however your swag is and you just give them a one-liner or you just say, you know, a few sentences and then leave it at that. But whatever you say, it shuts everybody up. You get what I'm saying? Stand up for yourself, but you, you still do it in a, like... It's like, bitch, I know Jiu-Jitsu and you really over here. It's kind of like when people speak in another language and they don't think you know the language that they're speaking and you understand every fucking thing that they're saying. Even if you can't translate, maybe you don't know how to speak that language, but you understand what they're saying. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, really? But you say something where y'all both understand to make them be like, oh, shit, she understood what I was saying. 
you get what I'm saying? Make them feel silly or whatever, but you didn't have to get out of character and do all of that is what I'm saying. That's for somebody. It's time to elevate and grow. It's time to be the person that, that, that you know, actually is available and open to receiving the soft life. You don't have to be so harsh. You don't have to be so hard. You don't have to, you know, I'm somebody who grew up ghetto. I grew up ghetto. I grew up fighting. I grew up shit. Please. <laughs> please you know living out living a harsh life living you know not having money and so forth you know what i mean we wasn't super broke but we wasn't rich either you know what i mean we i still grew up ghetto 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 you get what i'm saying it's like my household didn't have the money my grandparents did and my grandparents helped my mom let, let me put it like that you know and i'm thankful for for the type of life I had because it was a good life still. I still, you know, had barbecues and getting, you know, I was able to get new outfits because my aunts, you know, would buy, um, buy us new outfits and stuff. And we would all go over for, you know, the 4th of July or any type of holidays. We would all show up and do that type of stuff. That type of thing was cool, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, I still, I had to still go back home. And even where my grandparents live, it was still kind of hood. You get what I'm saying? So many that are watching this, you may be refining yourself and really, you know, know who you really, really are. You know, I've always been that, you know, that kind of like that Michelle Obama, you know, I've always been the nerd out of the hood, so to speak, but I still grew up, you know, like throwing in paws. You feel what I'm saying? You know, but it's like having to defend myself and stand up for myself, you know, but at the protect your block or protect your corner or whatever the you you feel me? You know, that's for who it resonates for. So it's like you could have this protective shell over yourself, you know, because of how you grew up or who you are or whatever the case may be. But spirit is saying that it's okay to let your guard down. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to allow people to take care of you, for you to receive gifts, for you to be you know, just a, a different a different type of person in this time frame of your life here, okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm talking to some of my ladies out there now. If it's just me, it's just me. But, you know, these messages are for who they, for, who, who they are for, including me as well. Not all messages are for me and not all messages are for y'all. You get what I'm saying? For each of y'all, you know? So take what resonates, you know, but it's time for you to sit on your queen. It's time it's time for you to sit on that throne as a queen. Focusing on your money, focusing on your skills, on your tasks, on on your developing your mindset here, being who you know you are, showing the world who you are, you know. It's like I'm the one that made it out the hood, so to speak, you know. It's like I, I grew up in the hood, but then my, I'm just sharing a little bit of my story with y'all. My mom, she got a job um, when we were young, and it moved us to to um, Scottsdale, Arizona. So I was a kid, you know, middle school, getting ready to go into high school, coming out of <laughs> coming out of Omaha, Nebraska. You know what I mean? And um, being dead smack in the middle of Scottsdale, like the richest place in Arizona, you know what I mean? It's like it's a very richy place, you know? It's like my, my classmates pulling up in Ferraris and different types of, you know, they got Cadillacs and Beamers and Mercedes and the place that we lived was called the Princess. You, you get what I'm saying? It was a whole new world that I was able to see. So I knew it was available, but it was, I didn't grow up like that though. I had access to it now. God showed me that it was available. And ever since then, baby, it's like, okay, let's get this money. Let's get this bag, you know. But also, it, it, it came with, it's coming, it has come and it is coming with with a lot of price, with, with some prices I've had to pay, you know, some sacrifices, some, you know, just a lot, okay. You know, it's like I was, I was able to definitely uh, get my degrees and so forth and everything else. You know, I was getting my, it, I ain't even going to keep on with my story, but what I'm saying is there's somebody else out there that's relating like me. I need to do some story times and really start sharing with y'all who I am and you know what I mean? But it's really time for you to focus in on your skills and be who you are and make that transformation because this world is your oyster and whatever it is that you want in this life, you can have it. And I'm living proof is what I'm getting at. You know? It's like, yeah, it, it's come with some trials and some like, damn, you know, but it's like it was I had to play out my my, my boogeyman's and my worst fears in real life. You know, it's like I, certain I had to, you know, y'all know my story of being homeless and so forth. It's like 
it's like being able to transition that, but that was a big fear of mine, you know, feeling like I'm never going to have enough, feeling like I'm not good enough, all of that type of stuff. It played out in the form of me being homeless for two years. But God is good. The universe is good, baby. 1010 was on a timer because, baby, the empress is all that there can. I'm telling you, I am the empress. You are the empress or the emperor if you're watching this. Take it how it resonates here. I'm here to give y'all real life confirmations and stories and really motivate y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit different and that's okay. Y'all be different. It's okay to be different. Comment down below. It's okay to be different. You're winning. You protect yourself. You are protected. Stand up for yourself. Be confident. This is giving confidence. It's it's saying, hey, I know who I am. I love who I am. And I'm not going to let anybody tell me that I can't be who I am. I am that I am that I am. You are this queen of pentacles. You are strong in your beliefs. You're, you're, you have a strong foundation. And then we got the Empress, baby. I'm telling y'all. I mean, and then we got the star. I mean, what else more do y'all want here? And then we got the Queen of Wands. It's nothing but fire energy that's here. And then we got the Emperor. The Emperor sees this, this Empress here. Look, and then we got the Ace of Cups, baby. I mean, the cards are just in order. Like I said, everything is in order. You're manifesting your life. You're, there's an emperor for this empress. There's an empress for this emperor. You get what I'm saying? It's like that energy is here. This Ace of Cups. It's like, what are y'all manifesting? Is this what y'all manifesting? Okay. What you're manifesting into your life, what you're focused on. Okay. Being like a light. You are a light to other people. Okay. I saw 1144 as well. Giving your, your energy to people. Okay. In a positive way. Okay. Exchanging your energy, not giving, but exchanging your energy, okay? This emperor wants to exchange energies with you. This is an emperor and an empress here. This is a couple here. If this is something you desire and you want, it's okay. Manifest it and receive it into your life. Many of you guys may already be experiencing this emperor in your life. If not, then this emperor is entering into your life. Okay, and it's like you guys are both in the star energy. You guys both love yourself. You know who you are. Okay, you, you both stand up for what you believe in. You guys may have very similar or same beliefs. You guys accept one another. Everything is good. Relationships should not be bad. That's what you were trained and told based upon the experiences you had. And you kept manifesting that because that's what your belief system was, that you can't have anything good. Well, I'm here to tell you that, baby, it is possible for the empress and the emperor to exist on a high vibrational level. You need to remove the lies that have been told on you. Go watch that video that I posted down below. I'm dropping gems and the ones who's meant to catch it will catch it because I'm changing lives. I'm telling you, I'm helping to change your mentality to let you know whatever you want is possible. You can have it. Manifest that shit. Get out of the negative mind frame. Get out of the ghetto of your mind frame. Step into this refreshing water. Dip yourself into some water. Go to an ocean or go do something fun. Go to a, an amusement park. Take yourself out. Get outside with the, where the sun is. You're an herbalist. You're a naturalist. You're a tarot reader here, okay? It's like you guys could uh, have plants or gardens, stuff like that as well, okay? You create natural remedies or you use natural remedies for your house. Maybe your whole entire house is nothing but natural products or that's what your goal is or something like that, okay? It's like, you really do this? You really about that life? Is the energy I'm picking up, okay? It's like, don't rush, really think about it. We just got this in another reading as well. Spirit is telling you to really think about something. So Spirit really wants you to think about your life, who you are, who you're becoming, what you really want to manifest. Think about your life and everything that you've experienced thus far. Think about all of that. Don't just rush through your life. Really think about it. Clap for yourself where it's like, dang, I really did this, this, and this, and this, and this. Pay attention to your accomplishments. I told you guys, some of you guys need to go on a vacation. Some of you guys need to travel. Go into a pool. Go into an ocean. Take your dream vacation. Manifest your dream vacation. It's okay to manifest. Uh, what you scared it ain't going to manifest. That's not the case. You have to trust and know that's going to manifest. You have the power to manifest it. You're ancient. You're a medicine woman. You're a shaman. Some of you guys live in Hawaii or want to go to Hawaii. Let me tell you, Hawaii is beautiful. I've been twice. 
And baby, it's beautiful. Hawaii is, and I've been to many, the majority of the islands, some really tiny, small ones. I can't remember the names right now, but yeah, that was in another lifetime, <laughs> you know, within this body, you know, it's like, but yeah, Hawaii is dope as shit. The party in hope, man, woo Mexico, phone call. You're, you're getting some type of phone call. Maybe Spirit is saying to really think about whatever this person is saying whenever they call because some type of phone call is taking place, okay? So expect some type of communication. What's next, okay? So you're really thinking about what's next for your life and what you really want to call into your life. You're in control of your life. Money wants to come out. Money always wants to come out. Support. You are supported, whether this is people that that is coming into your life, okay? Whether... You have to call in what you want. If you need support, you better ask for it. Dang it. What do you need? Ask for it. The universe is, is, a, the universe is, is nice. The universe is kind. The universe will give you what you desire. You just got to believe that. Okay? A, a opposite of what maybe you have been experiencing thus far. You have to become friends with the universe. Co comment down below. I am friends with the universe. I am friends with the universe. Okay? Comment that affirmation down below. Book your money. Excuse me. Book your um, your money coaching. Your law of attraction coaching. Okay? I was saying money because money is right here. Okay? But the law of attraction coaching is going to teach you how to get that money because it's going to teach you how to change up your mindset. And really call it in towards you and really how to remove blockages and really focus on being able to get that desire that you want and how to do it. You're very powerful. You need to set boundaries up with people. Yes, this phone call, you may need to set boundaries with somebody that's calling, okay? Yeah, definitely set boundaries where you feel you need to. Make sure that you are a person of boundaries so people don't even think that they can even try you. But, you know, go ahead and do what you need to do and set, set healthy boundaries. Don't keep people out. Don't put up walls, okay? Just set up boundaries. That's all. It's like, look, end of a hard time. I'm telling you, something that's coming to an end. You guys are definitely experiencing some type of communication, okay? However it comes through, okay? You putting up boundaries has helped you manifest the end of a hard time. And now you're manifesting nothing but bliss and, and good things. <gasps> Look what came back out. What you want wants you to. It was trying to come out and it's like, I put it back in. I literally grabbed it. You're a magnet at this time. Okay, spirit is showing you signs of, you could say something that literally appears. Okay, or something similar to show you that, hey, what I mean, the universe is saying, hey, I'm listening to you is what is what the universe is saying. What's next? You, you, it, the, the end of the hard time is over. Ain't no more hard times. Ain't no more difficult times. So you need to get that out your head. So now what do you want now that you know that there's no more difficult times? You don't have to. It's like it's done and over with. I don't care what your situation looks like, not disregarding your situation, but baby, like I just said, I was just homeless for two years. Didn't even have a stove to cook my own food on. I move different. I can live a different type of lifestyle. I'm worthy of everything that I have that's coming to me, that's on its way to me. I had to manifest my way out of that. So don't tell me that it's not possible. So you need to do the work is what I'm telling you because it's possible. Y'all seen the transformation right on camera. Never again will I ever go back to being homeless. I, I, I respect the situation. I respect the experience and the lessons and everything that I've learned. But baby, I'm better than that. That was fears that was playing out and everything else. It's time to share your story and tell your story, baby. Making money, okay? Never again. You ain't got to go back. Because the lessons and the things that you experience, that, please, please, baby, ain't nothing. I ain't afraid of nothing. When you live in, when you live in, when you ain't got no house and you live in amongst just a community of other type of people, you get so many things said to you. You're in different, certain type of places and just, your lifestyle is different. You wake up at three o'clock and use because you got to use the bathroom. Guess what? You got to drive to certain places, and it's you live just a certain. You just live a different lifestyle. But whatever difficult, I'm using me as an example. I'm trying to tell y'all it's possible. 
I, I can wake up at four o'clock in the morning and use my own toilet. People don't realize how blessed they are. I know I'm powerful. I know that I have many blessings towards me because I'm magical, baby. I've seen my manifestations happen right before my eyes and me manifest and transmute energy to remove certain situations out of my life. Sometimes it does take a while. Certain, you're working with spirit, but there's a higher, bigger purpose over my life as well. I'm not just somebody small. Please, I know who I am and y'all know who y'all are too. And it was part of my story so I can help other people learn how to get to the money because a lot of it for me was about feeling like I wasn't worthy of money or like I couldn't get money because I grew up in lack. I grew up not having my, my pockets greased. Even though I was working and so forth, I've always worked since I was a kid and all of that type of stuff, you know what I mean? But at the same time, baby, when I tell you, it's not like I've always been able to have that certain type of lifestyle that I've always desired. Even though I was married and everything else, I was not able to live a certain type of lifestyle that you would think one would live. You get what I'm saying? Having oh she got a degree and you know I was doing decent for myself but it wasn't even in my mind frame oh go buy a designer bag or go get you know something of quality because I wasn't taught luxury I wasn't taught quality you get what I'm saying even though I seen it possible thank God for me moving and so forth I was able to see that it was possible but no one ever still taught me how to get it I was still rooted being of oh you're broke and you're poor and you're ghetto and you gotta fight and you gotta have a rough life and be on a struggle bus and you can only get you know the name the the no name brand things because what if you run out of money and the scarcity mindset and all of that baby please but yeah I'm living life seeing everybody else ha go to Sephora fifty times a week like dang like are you paying your bills how are you getting all this extra money to do all this stuff yes granted I also have children so I was a, a, a mother you know having to put my money not just within me as well but in four children as well into my household and and so forth and not necessarily being able to spend on me so then I fell into the trap of oh you know not taking care of myself because I'm being a mother I'm being a wife and all of these other different things you get what I'm saying I was a military wife for years <laughs> Baby, y'all, my stories are crazy. So what I'm saying is, it's possible to manifest. I'm single. I love it. Okay. I, I have people that I connect with and that I, you know, I'm able to talk to and, and so forth and, and everything else. You, you, you get what I'm saying? But I'm a single individual. I'm not married. Therefore, I'm single. <laughs> And I love that energy because it's like I was I've been able to learn to manifest what I want, not what society has put on me and so forth. But, oh, what do you want? Nayla? Oh, you want to do this? You want to purchase this? You want to get this even though it costs 50 gazillion dollars? Yep, it's all possible. I'm really that fairy tale fantasy life that I really desire that what you may see on TikTok. I ain't got TikTok, but I see a lot of I still see a lot of TikTok videos because of YouTube and so forth. You get what I'm saying? And it's like just all of that. It's like there's certain things that you feel like you may want, but you feel like you cannot have. And I'm trying to tell you it's very possible. That's all I'm just trying to tell you. I'm just motivating y'all in these messages because that's who I am. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm more than a tarot reader, baby. I'm a teacher. I'm a philosopher. I'm a coach. Degrees or no degrees. Yes, I have my degrees, but without the degrees, it doesn't matter. But I'm street and book smart. I'm spiritually, uh, you know, I have spiritual wisdom. A lot of stuff. That's about me that people just don't know that it's like showing who you really are. Next level, baby. I'm just giving y'all my experiences and sharing them with y'all. And telling y'all what other energies come out to help y'all. I'm just being as real and raw as a reader that I can be. Just saying this is what the energy is for us. For us as a community. We're a community here. 
At least that's what I desire to build. You know what I mean? I want a community, not just views and people that are watching. That's great. But who's the people that's here to stay here to say, I like Nayla and the way she teaches and the way she, you know, building that community here, that family here where it's like, okay, this is, this is my tribe. Not people that's in and out and so forth. I'm, 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 I'm here to really teach people and really give these messages for people that has experienced the same things I have as well. You get what I'm saying? Have had my same type of experiences. Help answer the questions that you need answered. Give my expertise. Showing up as the expert that I am. You get what I'm saying? And it's time for you to do the same thing as well. Because y'all are coaches and so forth as well. And so coaches need coaches as well. I've definitely hired many coaches, please. I've, I've gotten, I have, you know, people I've seen to give me reads, not just reads, but coaching, mentorships, all of that type of stuff. When this camera goes off, you still got to live your real life. And I'm just putting myself on display on YouTube so you guys can have a piece of me and who I am and what I do and so forth and giving you guys my intuition and my intellect and my advice and so forth, you know? So y'all go ahead and tap, tap, tap in, tap that like button, okay? Um, if you guys feel called to book a law of a coach, law of attraction coaching session or a reading, whatever it is you feel you may need from me, okay? It can be found down below in the description bar and I will see y'all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.